Going forward, we're going to be using colors to color grade our videos. Before jumping into that, we need to know what each color means and what mood it creates for that clip. Every color has its own meaning and they trigger different emotions in the audience. Here I have some examples and for each of these examples there is a different type of acting. And by putting different colors on this we are going to transform the emotions that are being portrayed in that video. So apart from the acting, color plays a big role in the emotions that are taken away from your videos. So let's begin with our first example. I also have different color mats, which I just made by going into new item, color mat, choosing my color here, hitting OK, giving it a name, and then saving it. The first color we have is the color blue. So blue on its own is a royal color, and you can say that it's cold and calm, it's used quite often in sad movies. Whenever there's a sense of melancholy, they use the color blue because it triggers the right emotions. So whether it's a war movie, a death scene, a sad conversation between two actors, the color blue can help create that sad and cold emotion. So what happens when I grab this blue color and bring it above this scene of these two actors hugging? I'm going to use a simple blending mode to um, put this on top of my subject. So right away you can see that the mood instantly changed. It darkened first of all and we just made this scene look really sad. So before this we were just seeing two actors hugging. We didn't know what was happening, what was the emotion portrayed here, but the color blue can make this scene look sad. So maybe the mother is saying goodbye to her daughter, the daughter is leaving away. And just by a simple blue overlay, we were able to portray that emotion. So that's the color blue. If you want to make something sad, cold, or make a person look alone, you would want to use the color blue. The next color is green. Let's bring it right above. Change the blending mode. We're not really color grading here. We're just putting this block of color above. So with this color, we just created a dark and ominous mood for this video. So green is usually associated with nature, but in movies, it can also suggest that there is some darkness going on. There is some uh, mystery and ominous mood. And in our example, it looks like this person may be evil and she is maybe trapping the second person. You may have also noticed in cartoons that the color green is associated with the villains and that's because it does create that scary and mysterious look. It's also used quite often in horror films. So usually in horror films there's a combination of green and blue to make the video cold and then make it scary. So those two combined will perfectly set the mood for the audience. We're going to talk about the topic in the next lesson and how by combining two colors or more, we can create a certain mood. So that's green. Let's try this color on top of our second video. So in our second video, we do have a villain. And when I put the green on top of it, you can see that it's completely different and she is beginning to look more like a villain. Of course, if we were actually color grading, we would have to darken the green. But for now, you can see how it instantly changes the mood. If we try blue, it's going to look really cold. She's going to look really distant. And when we combine the two, we're getting the perfect horror movie mood. And the final member of the cold colors is the color purple. Let's try to blend that in. So the color purple is usually used in fantasy films and it can transform your video into something mystical, and eternal. The color purple is used a lot in movies like The Guardians of the Galaxy, Blade Runner, and Star Wars. Just movies where everything is full of fantasy and, and the setting is in the future. So let's try purple on this video. And you can see how it again completely changes the mood. 
or the villain. If you have neon objects in your videos, then you can pair it with the color purple to one, make those neon colors pop and to create that fantasy mood that you're looking for. So let's say I have this video and I created some sort of glowing eye effect for my subject. I can just pair it with the color purple and my VFX is going to stand out a lot better. So those three were a part of the cold color group. And now let's jump into the warm color group, which is the opposite of the colors that we just saw. So let's go into the project panel and begin with our first warm color. That is the color orange. Let's bring it right in. So warm colors in general are associated with emotion, strong emotion specifically. So usually in movies when there is a happy flashback, the color orange is used for color grading. So not only does it make your video more warm, it makes it more friendly. At times it can also make your video look more exotic. I'm sure you've all seen the movie Mad Max. The color orange is used quite often. And that's an example of how the color orange can be used to create something exotic. So if you're looking to make your video more friendly, more warm, then you would want to add orange to your color grading. Next in our warm group is the color pink. The color pink is usually associated with youth. So in movies where they want to show an innocent character, the pink color really helps. And it can also make your videos look more playful. So an example of this would be the Grand Budapest Hotel, the movie. The color pink is used quite often to show playfulness and innocence for the characters. So this is what it looks like on one of our examples. Next, we have the color red. This is used quite often as well. Red is usually associated with love, violence at times, and passion. So on one side, it can resemble love, passion, and just really strong emotions. On the other hand, it can show power, danger, and violence. So this is how the color red looks like on our example. Can make this video look really passionate. And on this video, it can show a sense of danger. So maybe this is a flashback of something that happened right before a dangerous event. Finally, on our list is the color yellow. So the color yellow is usually associated with action. You've probably seen it in movies like Kill Bill, Bruce Lee, Fast and Furious, or just any other movie where there is a lot of action and violence. The color yellow can also be used to portray uh, obsession, jealousy, and other emotions that are just not that likable. So now we know what each of these colors mean. And in the next lesson, we're going to combine the colors to create certain moods. Now, before we jump into the next lesson, I'm going to show you some examples of Hollywood films that include these colors that we talked about. So this is our first example for the color orange. In the movie Mad Max, there's a lot of action going on and the movie is exotic. It's shot in an unrealistic setting. There's a lot that happens in that movie. Of course, a lot of action too. And the color orange makes the movie really exciting and epic. So the color orange is paired with this blue. We're going to talk about color pairings in the next lesson. But I just wanted to show you guys an example of how the color orange can be used on a video to show exoticness and just other emotions that we talked about. In this case, it's just exotic and extreme, but in other cases, it can be warm and friendly. So in Harry Potter, there was this flashback of the mom. Notice the color orange again. In this setting, the color orange was used to show something warm and friendly, which was Harry's mother. We have another scene here. Then in another scene where something sad happens, they switch to the color blue. So it's no longer orange, it's blue. And this can trigger sad emotions in the audience because, well, someone died and the other character is crying. So that's the orange color. Now let's take a look at the other movies. Next, we have the color green, which like we said, was used in a lot of horror movies. 
and it's used in movies where there's a lot of nature. So this movie is a perfect example. You can see that the color palette includes a lot of greens and the setting is in nature. So the color green in this sense is showing that darkness, mood, the ominous mood, and of course the nature all around. The next color is red. So in this movie, in the mood for love, there's a lot of love going on, a lot of passion, strong emotions, and therefore the color red is used quite often. We have a lot of warm colors in this movie. Our next movie is the Grand Budapest Hotel, which uses the color pink quite often. So the color pink, like we said, shows innocence, it shows sweetness, playfulness, and all that. And we can see how the use of the color pink can show us that emotion. Another example of the use of color pink is with the artist Melanie Martinez. She uses the color pink a lot to show that innocent and playful aesthetic that she has. So if you want to make something look softer, more innocent, then you can use the color pink. Our next item is the color purple. It's used a lot in sci-fi movies, especially ones uh, related to technology. So in this movie, Blade Runner 2049, there is a lot of purple used, especially in this scene. And you can just use the color purple to show that fantasy futuristic look. Our next movie is Interstellar. Uh, in this movie, there's a lot going on, but nothing is exactly happy, warm, and friendly. So we are getting cold colors. If we take a look at the color palette, we have different shades of blue that get mixed with other neutral colors. So in this movie, uh, because everything is quite epic, there's a lot of blue used and the colors were shifted towards colder tones. So we got some blue here, some green, and we just barely have any warm tones. Dunkirk is another good example of this. We got a lot of cold colors, again, some green, some blue. We just get that warm tones from the human subjects especially when there is a friendly interaction. So if you want to make your videos look a bit more distant, a bit cold, and a little bit more sad, then you would want to use blue as one of your main colors. And our final color is yellow. Uh, the Lion King could be a good example of this. We got a lot of yellow in this, especially with the characters that are warm and friendly. So the main characters, they all have yellow. But notice how the villain is a different color. So whenever he is plotting his evil plan, he is surrounded by the color green. That's because green can show that you are a dark person, you're the villain, and there's some sort of evil associated with this character. But in other scenes, there's the use of warmer colors. So the color yellow can also be associated with um, obsession, and other times action. So this movie is another good example of this, where the main character is always wearing yellow because there's a lot of action and obsession with that character. There's also the Bruce Lee movie. And of course, with Bruce Lee movies, we do have a lot of yellows because like we said, it can show danger and action. So those were some examples of these colors that we talked about within Hollywood films. There are tons of other examples, but hopefully now you know what each one means and how adding these colors to your videos can transform the emotion that the audience will take from it. In the next lesson, we're going to talk about how we can use these colors either together or alone to create a certain mood for our videos. I'll see you guys in the next lesson.